Our base operating system within our virtual machines is Linux. When it was version 4 and earlier, it was actually Microsoft, but Cisco switched to the Linux environment. Now, the reason I bring that up now is because if you're like me, you might have had a time period where you actually knew some Linux commands and you understood how to get to root and manipulate the data and the files. Well, the good news is you're actually blocked from that. And I think it's good news because we don't want to get in and mess with those files and move something or inadvertently delete something. The only people that really can do that are Cisco technical assistants. So that brings us to how do I check some pings to make sure I have connectivity, maybe software or hardware status, just some basic things. Now I can get to the operating system. I can get to the Linux platform, but within my administration page, I can actually do some quick, easy checks to say, hey, can I ping something? Can I, you know, tell what's going on? There's some show commands here that show some of the hardware information and the network settings. We have the settings, what our IP address is and, and how that's set up. Our NTP servers are listed here. This is going to be very important to keep them up to date and running and the time. And here's our version. And then we have security. And I'm just kind of showing you some of the menu options that we have. We'll be going in later to see some of the details. But here's the software upgrades. TFTP file management, so we can make you maybe manipulate that. And then the services. Here's where you could ping. I can click on the ping option, and just like any ping that I might be doing, I can type in an IP address. I'm going to ping my, let's ping my presence server. That's actually what step 75 is. I can say how many ping intervals I want and hit ping. There we go. Everything looks good. I was hoping that we'd be able to ping it, <laughs> and, uh, and we can. So we can do simple testing and network checking from our ad administration page that is the OS admin page. And again, to get here, we from this drop-down menu, we just choose the unified OS administration, and that brings us into this area.